Captain Michael Dawson here at Patriot Guide Service. Here today at Tarpon Fishing Outfitters to talk about my favorite time of year, fall redfish. The redfish bite in September, October, November is the best we see it all year. This is the time of year you can expect to see large numbers of redfish, between 40 and 60 redfish caught a day, as well as the big size redfish, anywhere between 29 inches, and we hear you can catch them this side of the year up to 50 inches. This is the best time of year to go out and get these redfish. So today we're going to go over tips, tackle, and techniques on how to catch these fish. We're going to start off on our usual, go over the rod and reel combo. This is typically something I would use here, a 3,000 size reel on a 7 foot or a 7 6 medium heavy rod. This rod would be perfect for making long casts on the flats as well as pitching under the mangroves. Specifically here I had the Pen Battle 3000 on the Fenwick HMG. This is a new combo of tarpon fishing outfitters and it is a great set for doing all of our inshore fishing. I highly recommend this combo and it would be perfect for all your inshore fishing. Putting braid on it, I would do 15 pound braid, more than enough, more than enough line capacity, more than enough breaking strength, that would be your typical redfish combo. Going over tackle wise, I am a big live bait guy go, as most of you guys know. Redfish are an inferior feeder, that means that they feed on the bottom. So this time of year, what I typically use is I'll start with a one knot owner circle hook with a number four split shot on my 25 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon with a piece of cut bait on the bottom. Redfish are a big scent hunter, so scent is a big key to them, so a nice stinky piece of cut bait on the bottom of the grass flat is a great area to fish. For your artificial guys, my favorite artificial is gonna be this swimming trout trick on the Snake Locks Jig Head by Z-Man. This bait is really neat. As you can see, the head is a little bit on the swivel and these baits float. So what happens is this head will sit on the bottom and this bait will float straight up. Redfish being an inferior feeder, it gives them some of the pounce on on the bottom. Phenomenal bait. We have a bunch of different colors here and it's a great bait to use. If you want something a little bit more scented and you're not sure how to use these weedless, something simple would be these new Slayer baits Tarpon has got in. These baits are pre-scented. Just put a jig head on them and they're great to go. This is Slayer 8th ounce jig head with a 3 odd hook on the nice Slayer uh, I want to say this is the gumbo color bait. Great color, dark colors are always great this time of year with the water color being dark. Great bait to use. Get out there, you want to be targeting the edge of your oyster beds, your mangrove lines, the edge of your rivers. These fish are going to be at the mouth of most of your rivers, canals, creeks, in where there's oyster beds or deep mangroves, feeding on little bait fish coming in and out with the tide. Get out there, catch some great fish, and show some pictures to the tarpon fishing outfitters and employees when you come in. A lot of them can't get fishing every day like I can, and they get jealous sometimes. So come show some pictures and come get your tackle. Captain Michael Dawson, signing off.